Where is Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Ah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Yeah, he doesn't want. To. By the way, sorry, if, uh, you missed the the last bit of that that blaster um, of that turret duel because my um, software, my recording software, reached the 15 minute mark and I uh, fumbled uh, the recording button. It's not like anything happened. We just yeah. He doesn't want to get back for Bastila. He wants to well for Bastila too, but mostly for Malak. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malik said, or should I? Yeah. He doesn't care. He's not Darth Revan. I'm not Darth Revan. I'm Goofeth, no matter what he was. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Yeah. Nothing, really. He's still... he's still not sure if this is really his dreams, I mean... And so the lies begin. It was obvious you remembered something back there when Malak confronted you with the truth. Might have only been small pieces, but there was something there. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Yeah. He's not to blame for that. The Jedi's are to blame for that. Hey, you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. <laughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? <laughs> yeah, I think first and foremost, he's interested what what Kandros has to say about that. He's really relieved that he is still mission and and Zalba at his side. That's a big relief. He doesn't really care about Karth anyway. Kandras, he cares about what he's, he thinks. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. And as I said at the beginning of this session, it's turning out to be a mammoth session again. Um, he does value Jolie's opinion, because he doesn't impose it on him. What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off than you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. <laughs> Just... I think in his very overwhelmed and defensive state, he's actually going to go so far to even ask the droids what they think of him. Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. What's happening? Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. 
I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. <laughs> there is no telling what that means with that homicidal mad insane droid. So Goofus is interested. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. What? Okay. So not only is Goofoth Revan, but Revan's the original master of HK. Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to carefully interject that he's not exactly rampant anymore. Observation. That does not matter, Master. I am your droid, regardless of your actions or personality. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? <laughs> Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky, and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. <laughs> that is a good point. What about little T3? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Yeah, not that he cares, but I think he just wants wants his loyalty. He wants, yeah. Well, the others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I don't have any other choice, do I? Yeah, you're right, you don't have a choice. I'm in charge here. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that star forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. I don't know if you saw that just then, but Bestella was kind of spectre-like, fading away there. Well. Well, well, well. By the way, I'd almost completely forgotten. that Goofoth had set the course for Yavin. And I'm guessing it's kind of fitting. It's it's it's, it's as good a place as any um, to hide out after this. Even if Dantooine is in fact destroyed. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to end the session here because I think Goofoth definitely needs a moment to digest all of that <laughs> okay Goofoth is Revan HK is Revan Stroyd oh man all right we're going to try to make some sense of all of that uh, in the next session and until then <laughs> oh man <laughs> Oh, Bioware plot twists.
Oh dear. Well, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Guess most of you saw that coming. Uh, yeah, um, take care of yourselves, be well, and have fun. Bye-bye.